Okay, it's beer o'clock again on the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from Belgium. It is from Brewery de Half Man in Bruges. And it's the Straff Hendrik Bruges Triple Beer. 9% ABV. There you go. Wonderful looking label. Wonderful looking bottle cap of the quarter or half moon there. Thirty-three, I believe, thirty-three centiliter bottle. Yep. Let's get it open into a glass and see what we get. Oh, didn't quite get the kind of big smoke bomb we like, as the cap stayed on there. Beer pouring out. Lovely kind of, let's see if it's ball conditioned. Lovely looking beer. Looks like a blonde, pale kind of amber colour. Clear, it's slightly kind of cloudy, slightly cloudy but you're going to get that with a Belgian beer with, a, with the yeast in there. It's a two finger head, it's white, it's fluffy. Looks absolutely divine. Medium sized bub bubbles there. Um, if this beer was kindly sent to me by BelgianBeerShop.com If you quote me the Real Ale Guide you get a 10% discount on all your orders. So please visit their website. Um, I'm going to get a nose on this one. Spicy orange, spicy lemon peel, that classic Belgian spiciness with the citrus, it's a traditional hop, it's, it's very yeast prominent in the nose. The yeast strain they use is very fruity, oh this one's got me licking my lips, I'm going to get into this one, cheers everyone. And as I mentioned in a previous review, let me first of all give you some of these flavours and sensations that I'm getting because it's two, it's a flavour and a sensation with a Belgian beer. The sensation which I've grown so very fond of is when the beer hits your tongue, it explodes on your tongue like a fruit bonbon, that kind of, it fizzes like a, almost like one of them um, sweets we used to have, um, the flying saucers where they kind of fizzle on your tongue. Um, it really does, it's a, it's a flavour and it's a, it's a sensation when you get used to it and when you enjoy it, you start to crave, you start to want more and more and more of it. Um, it's that fizz. There, there you go. And then it's a wonderful, wonderful kind of floralness to the beer. Very floral, it's very flowery, it's very hoppy, it's yeasty, it's dry, it's a little bit musty. But it all kind of combines, when you get used to this style of beer, it combines together to become something very, very special. Oh, it's so very lemony, so very orangey, marmalade kind of nose as you're sipping the beer. I like to breathe in as well, just to get that full effect of the beer. As I said, it's dry, lovely and carbonated. It's just, it's just so kind of, wow, how? How this, and I, and I think it's going to happen in the future, when I say how, if you're watching in the future and this has already happened, 
but at the moment beard is still a kind of it, it's way down the pecking order compared to say a French as the French love their wine uh, the whole world knows the French love their wine in some respects at the moment early 2013 this a kind of a segment a beer segment of the world who are interested in beer who know that the Belgians love their beer and this this really for me what I'm trying to do here with these video beer reviews is is hope that as many people as possible find the review find maybe become a little bit curious of the review and then go and try and see for themselves what I'm banging on about here with Belgian beer it's absolutely fantastic <coughs> pardon me and with a live review well not quite a live review it is recorded but we don't kind of edit anything out if I start becoming a little hiccupy then we just have to bear with it but um, I'm going to get back into this, I'm going to take a deep breath and sip the beer at the same time. Mm. Um, again, um, there's not much I can add to what I've already said about the beer. It's just, it's super spicy, super dry, super musty, super fresh, floral. Is almost hints of honey in there, and it's just there's something about this style of beer which I've grown to love. Okay, I think there might be some English here. Here we go traditional top fermentation beer that re ferments in the bottle, bottle conditioned if you're watching around the world, brewed by the unique family brewer, the Hav Man, which has been located in the historical heart of Bruges since 1856. Straff Hendrick is an authentic Bruges triple beer, still brewed according to the original recipe and to serve it cool. Um, for me, this beer, it's got a stamp, Belgian family brews on there. For me, I'm just kind of really enjoying this series of Belgian beers I'm I'm reviewing. I'm really enjoying the the the, the flavors that 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 every beer is slightly different. Um, I'd like to thank my good friends over at Belgian Beer Shop um, for really enhancing my my beer knowledge, my Belgian beer knowledge. They've really kind of um, mixed it up a bit, thrown me forty beers to get through. Um, it's a, it's going to be a great partnership, I'm pretty sure. Um, for me, this beer gets nothing less, nothing less than, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 beer from The Real Ale Guide. Um, please check out www.belgianbeershop.com. Um, quote me The Real Ale Guide for your 10% discount. But please, subscribe to my daily beer reviews on YouTube. Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you watching and cheers.